Welcome to the EdgeCam 2011 R2 Brief. Yet again at this release we have been listening to our customers and machine tool partners about the ever increasing demands of their manufacturing needs. I really believe that you'll appreciate and take advantage of these latest developments. Many thanks for watching. In today's market with complicated machine tools in the mill turn environment and mutated type axes, it's very easy to move the machine out of its limits. EdgeCam will now tell you precisely when you've gone out of those limits and on which axis. This saves on setup time and expensive rework. The three to five axis cycle converts the profiling cycle into a full five axis cycle. The way we do this is that the user just applies a normal cycle, profiling cycle, and then converts that to avoid any collisions with the part. This gives us two main uh, advantages. One, the user can use shorter tooling to reduce the amount of vibration. And two, it's a very easy cycle to use. So it's a good introduction to five axis for those companies who are trying to get into that market. One of the big things uh, of any release is that we need to keep improving our product. And we always revisit our cycles and try and improve them as we're going along. What we've done at this release is we've improved uh, optimization, we've improved the usability and ease of use in a majority of our cycles. Edgecam sort of machinist reads the native data from all of the common and most popular mid-range solid modelers, uh, ensuring that there's no data translation and therefore any issues as regards to translating the models. EdgeCam 2011 R2 introduces the Solid Machinist Fair X module. This allows the direct loading of unigraphics, parts and assemblies into EdgeCam for subsequent feature finding and machining. There are also significant speed improvements of up to 30% on the loading of CAD models into EdgeCam 2011 R2. As an authorised Autodesk developer, Planet are pleased to announce that EdgeCam 2011 R2 is also certified as a partner product for Autodesk Inventor 2012. The simulator now has full collision detection. This is of great importance to our users because not only can we check the tooling and the, the holders, but we can now check every part of the machine tool, including the back of the head of the machine against the tables or any fixtures. This means that there's less, less chance of any problems on the shop floor. Simulator has been upgraded to use the 64-bit technology. This makes use of the hardware that most computers have now. This gives us both performance, ability, and we can deal with larger models. In EdgeCam 2011 R2, we've also introduced a new What's New help file. The new format has a clear layout and easy to use navigation tools. We have also added a new What's New tab to the dialog level help. This enables users to see the new features and read about them at the time they're using the software. Another enhancement that is of advantage to all of our EdgeCam users are the changes to the view management in both EdgeCam and Simulator. There are now four isometric views to choose from, and we've also improved the dynamic rotation of the model within EdgeCam. A new dockable view menu is also available. Being dockable, this means that you can actually move it to one side and optimize the graphics viewing space. We've also implemented a new mechanism for delivering messages directly to the user of the EdgeCam software. The user can now configure whether he would like to receive software update messages, license messages, or technical tips and tricks. This new EdgeCam release includes many links to the new global customer portal. Customers can log in and then download software updates, look at their license updates, and also 
to browse the comprehensive online documentation, such as the knowledge base and the frequently asked questions section. The tool store has now been updated to handle through coolant for all tool types. The advantage of this is that the information is passed through to EdgeCam automatically and this just makes it for a more reliable sequence. F distance has been extended to all turning tools now. The advantage is this key measurement is passed through to EdgeCam for our automation tools. This means that the correct tool is selected for the job, giving you a much better part in a short time. The capabilities of EdgeCam Part Modeler have been enhanced in this release with the introduction of three new CAD loaders. Loaders for NX, ASIS and CATIA V5 enable these models to be loaded into Part Modeler where they can be modified and or defined as fixtures for use in EdgeCam. I hope you have enjoyed watching and learning a little about this latest release. We are confident that you will be impressed with all the new features and the competitive advantages they give you. Many thanks. <laughs>